It's mailbag time, folks. Remember, if you want to be a part of the mailbags, then you got to be subscribed. Otherwise, you won't be able to tune in as part of our live shows on Monday and Wednesday. So again, make sure you're using hashtag NFL or Super Chat. Elise Pin, how about them Cowboys? I mean, that was not a game the Cowboys should have won. Let me see if I can find that the stat that I saw coming out of that game. Dallas should not have won that football game. They made so many mistakes. Here it is. The Cowboys are the first road team in NFL history to have 115 penalty yards, uh, convert less than 25% of their third down attempts, allow four touchdowns, and win the game. Just absolutely insane. From I'm the man, do the Broncos need to make a change on the field or off the field more to get back to success regardless of where we're at in the schedule? I, I don't know what the change is. Um, I, I think the number one change I would make, I think they're making their offense way too hard on Teddy Bridgewater. And they're trying to establish the run on early downs, but when the run is not there, what ends up happening is Denver now finds themselves in third and sixes and third and sevens is, and third and, and not shorts. And the end result is, well, eventually your not franchise quarterback isn't going to be able to make the play. So because of that, I don't think it's working right now. I would actually throw it more with Teddy Bridgewater and try to avoid a situation where they're in all these third longs. Eventually, he's just not going to make one, and then they have to punt. From Shock Universe, should the Patriots trade for Ronald Jones or OBJ at the deadline? Should the Patriots be buyers, period? I'm inclined to go no. Now, they kind of made some money appear with the, with the Stephon Gilmore trade. I don't think Ronald Jones is better than Ramondre Stevens. Or Daniel Smith is massively better, so I say pass on, on the back. OBJ could make sense. That name intrigues me. I think it would have to be a player-for-player player deal. I don't know if there is a great one right now as things sit for, for the Pages and Browns. But in the offseason, that rumor, I promise you, will end up reappearing. All right, from Alex Ronald. Is it time to fire Brian Flores? Oh, boy, there we go. Um, this has been unquestionably a very disappointing and frustrating start for the Miami Dolphins. They are supposed to be a playoff contender. Right now, they're like a bottom five team. And that's a problem because the Dolphins do not own their first pick. That is going to the Eagles as part of the Jalen Waddle trade. They own the Niners pick. Oops. What I'm saying is the Dolphins got to figure this out fast. Because a nightmare scenario is the Dolphins trade a top 10 pick for the rights to draft. What well, is a good football player? Don't get me wrong there. But if that's a top five pick, oh no, that's a disaster. I still like Brian Flores. My biggest concern has been a new offensive coordinator every single year. That is not good. That is not good for a quarterback's development. And I still don't think they have the right guy calling the plays. That's an issue. So I don't think Brian Flores gets fired quickly, but the seat is warming up. So what do you guys think? Which NFL head coach is fired next? We've we, we seen some Vic Fangio disgruntledness in the comments. Get your votes in. This will be the pinned comment on today's video. Get the ad break here on YouTube. Scroll on down and get your votes in. All right, next up here from SG Sports Talk channel, what are your thoughts of quarterback Trey Lance? I've been impressed by Lance at this point. At times, he very much is what I kind of thought he was going to be. He's not a full product. Like, he was always going to be a developmental guy. I needed some time. I've seen flashes. I've seen what he can do. He's not doing it consistently yet, but I do think he's getting there. So he just needs time. Just needs reps. It's not an instant Justin Herbert, I don't think, type of player. But give him a year, I think he'll get there. From Timothy Sweat, do you think the Cowboys will try to upgrade the center position before the trade deadline? DC for life. That's back-to-back -back supers. Thank you, Timothy and SG Sports Talk. I think they'll explore it. I don't know who they're going to find. Um, you know, I looked at Matt Hennessy from the Falcons, but he's not a massive upgrade. I think the most likely, I, mean, I think Beyonce was coming off a better game. That was, I think, his best game so far this year against the Patriots. It was a nice little surprise. I think the, the likely upgrade comes in the offseason at that position. 
from corned king. I don't know what corned king is. Is it like corned beef? Maybe that's because it looks like there's meat on there. Anyway, uh, should the Chiefs still be AFC West favorites? Now only one game back of first place. Good question. Um, the AFC West uh, got a lot more muddled this weekend when the Chargers got absolutely blown out by the Ravens. As things sit right now, including the very weird far from determined tiebreakers, this is how things look. Everyone's separated by a game or less, or fewer, whatever the phrase is. Chargers 4-2, and two, Raiders 4-2, and two, Broncos 3-3, three and three, Chargers 3-3. Three and three. I do still think the Chiefs could very well win this division. The Chargers have the early advantage after a very hot start in their division so far. So what do you guys think? Who wins the AFC West? Type KC for the Chiefs, LAC for the Chargers, DEN for for the Broncos, or LV for the Raiders. You can bet on this division and every division on BetUS. So head over, chatsports.com slash bet. Use the promo code you guys see on screen. That is NFL Daily to get you a 125% deposit bonus. To tie it in with how things have looked so far this year, the Chiefs, to really answer your question there, are still... The AFC West favorites, minus 115. I'm intrigued by LA, plus 125. The Raiders way down there, plus 750. And nobody is buying Denver right now, plus 1,400. You can put five bucks down on whatever team you think is going to win and still have a ton of money left over when you get that 125% deposit bonus by using promo code NFL Daily at chatsports.com slash bet. From Nas12, what moves should the Packers make? Um, Look for a corner. Jair Alexander a bit banged up right now. Maybe there's a guy on the market that could help you. I think the offense is okay again. Another receiver would be great, but they're just not going to. I've accepted that at this point, at least midseason. I think corner is maybe where I would look. You know, Jalen Smith, probably not the guy, but some depth at linebacker helps. Overall, I think Green Bay is the clear favorite right now in the NFC North. Super chat now from All Out Broncos 1858. Should the Broncos start Drew Locke? I don't think so. Um, I, I think at this point we have to acknowledge this likely outcome from, from Denver that Drew Locke ain't that guy. Now, maybe somewhere else he becomes it, but he got beat out by Teddy Bridgewater. And again, as I kind of hinted at earlier, I don't think it's a pure quarterback issue. I think the play calling, being so conservative, actually ends up forcing quarterback to bail you out on third and longs. And if you don't, if you don't have a franchise guy, he's not going to make those plays. So I think no. And if you want to start lock when the year's over, sure. Right now you're trying to win games. I still think Bridgewater gives you the most, the, the best chance there. And Finney, should the Seahawks fire Pete Carroll? Wow, we're coming out firing today. Um, let's see how the year goes. I thought the second half of that Monday night or the Sunday night football game was Pete Carroll said, I want to run the football. And it worked, by the way. Um, let's check in at the end of the year. He gets the entire year. There's no way you fire him midseason. Absolutely no chance of that. If things deter between Carroll and Russ, that's a tough decision for your organization to make. We will see how that develops as we move forward. From the King, who I think is maybe a Seahawks fan. I see the Kraken logo for NHL, I think. Uh, what positions are supposed to be good in next year's NFL draft? Uh, not quarterback. Not at all. I think some interior O-line, if you want a run-blocking O-line, I like some of those guys. Uh, uh, Ikem Ekwanu at NC State, Darian Kennard, Evan Neal amongst others. Uh, Tyler Linderbaum, so I think a good O-line class. Depth at edge. Decent corners, not as good at receiver, but still a good receiver class. And I, I, I appreciate your question there, King. It's still early. We'll see more draft talk on the channel as we move forward. Super chat now from Gotham Guy. Could you see Randy, Demarcus, and Micah all as pass rushers? Have Demarcus in the middle with Randy and Micah as bookends. What I think you'd actually see is what you've already seen in the past, which is utilizing Randy Gregory or Micah Parsons as a stand-up pass rusher 
lined up over the guard. Go back and pay close attention to some of these reps you've seen. Gregory has lined up as like a stand-up defense tackle, lined up between the center and the guard in a blitz package. That formation exists, and you will see it once Demarcus Lawrence comes back from his injury for the Cowboys. From Travis96, will the Browns trade for a running back with Kareem Hunt out and Nick Chubb banged up? Ooh, okay. Um, I don't think that's something that they really have to do. Um, but look, Hunt's going to miss time. If Nick Chubb's not back, I think that does raise some red flags here. One name I will mention, how about Marlon Mack? Uh, he is very much on the trade block right now with the Indianapolis Colts. Dearness Johnson played 12 snaps. He's fine. I think Marlon Mack might be better. If you're worried about Hunt long term and or Nick Chubb, I think adding a back could make some sense for Cleveland and Maybe Max a good fit, although maybe maybe you let Demetrius Felton get some of those third down reps, given he was a running back receiver hybrid at UCLA. So maybe, but maybe Felton's presence means the Browns are okay there. Now speaking of trades, I want you guys to name a player who you want to trade for. Keep it somewhat realistic for me, but have some fun. Get your votes in. Name a player who you guys want to trade for in the comment section. Any player that you guys want. From Alfredo, will the Cowboys be buyers at the trade deadline? If so, who do you think for? I think maybe a corner. I would also look for defensive line help. That could certainly be an area. Uh, interior D line is not great at this point for the Cowboys. That could be an area in which they explore and maybe look at some options to help out that defense, which was not good against the run against New England. From Sally Boy, should the Cowboys trade Terrence Steele? Short answer, no. Long answer is this. He's cheap and under team control for several years. So right now, given you're not sure how reliable A.L. Collins is really going to be, you don't need to move Steele. Now, maybe in the offseason, you revisit that, I still think Leo Collins ends up being the starter for this Cowboys team at the, uh, at, the, at the right tackle spot. But having Steele is a good thing for a team that does not have very much, or for a league, I should say, that doesn't have very much depth. That could make some sense for the Dallas Cowboys. Collins, actually, I think in the end, might make more sense as a trade target at some point than Terrence Steele. From Juan Hernandez, in your honest opinion, do you think Rich Passaccia, a.k.a. Goldberg, will take us to the playoffs and then the Super Bowl? <sighs> okay, uh, no. Sorry, I don't think. The Raiders could still make the playoffs. They're a good wild card threat. They will not go to the Super Bowl. I, I would be shook. If they do, yes. Frankly, if the Raiders make the playoffs, don't you almost have to keep Rich Passaccia I feel like that's almost what you have to do if you're Vegas. Now, maybe they don't, but they got it. They, they're giving him a chance, and so far, so good for Vegas. From Ethan Ellie, do the Bears have a Chargers type situation where they need a new coach and an O line fix? <sighs> I mean, for sure, on the O line side, I, I never understood why the Bears, who needed a right tackle, drafted a right tackle. And they moved to the left tackle, cut their left tackle. Then Tevin Jenkins was hurt, so now he got no good tackles. Like, they did not approach the O-line properly. Big mistake. As for a new coach, probably. Maybe a new GM as well, but, oh, he just drafted Justin Fields. Better make sure you get this next one, if and when it happens, right, if you're Chicago. Uh, 